Meow. Oh. Leather. Oh shit, we need leather. Leather's a big one. Leather is a big one. Enchanting spice times two. No idea what that's used for. Actually, it's probably a battle item, like enchant an enemy kind of thing. Quality fiber. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Thank you very much. My house is okay, but one of the others burnt down. They look real sad, so I let them borrow my doll. It always helps me feel better when I'm sad, too. Aw, that's the dude up there. Thanks to you, we managed to survive the battle, though the town wasn't so fortunate. It'll take some time before she's back to her former glory, but she'll get there, so long as we work together. Indeed. Indeed. I wish I could do more for the townsfolk who lost their homes, but us soldiers are hardly in any condition to help. We have our hands full aiding the injured and making sure everyone is fed. I dread to think what would happen if fighting were to continue much longer. My people are suffering after a battle on our own soil. I doubt we would be able to face another attack from Esfrost alone. Yeah, that is the downside here. We are pretty weak. To say I'm disappointed in Lord Silvio would be an understatement. He safeguarded himself in Telior as Gustadolf invaded the Crown City. Some say it was his duty as Lord to stay and protect his people and domain, but what of his duty to the Crown? I suppose we shouldn't be looking to Lord Silvio for any semblance of loyalty. Yeah, I don't trust him. He sent that message. He sent a message and it wasn't to us. And he didn't say that he'd already sent a message to Forks. So... The sus is out. I'm dropping my big fat sus on the table and being like, look at it. It's pretty sus. Lord Serenoa, you drove back the Esfrosty forces with such splendor. I expected no less of House Warford. Have you heard of how are the other houses are faring? To tell the truth, my family lives in the Telior domain. They say that Lord Silvio is not a man of the military arts and fear what should happen were Esfrost to invade. Uh. Do, do, do. If worse comes to worst, your family's welcome here. Thank you. You are most gracious, Lord Serenoa. Hearing you say that puts my mind at ease. I only wish House Telior was so reliable. I shall let my family know what you have told me and invite them here to Woolfort. Alright, lad. Lord Serenoa, thank you for taking the time to listen to this merchant's woes. My house is gone. If only I'd known sooner. I could have grabbed my precious mementos. Well, you were told long before it happened. And we know that because lots of people were retreating to the fucking castle. So we must have told them what was going to happen. You can rebuild a house, but the keepsakes are gone forever. Yeah, probably should have taken that shit with you then, huh? I do wonder if the downside of burning down the town... I was like, I, I said there must be a reason to keep stuff up because like... It has carried over, like this one, this side is still standing, you know? And we were able to go inside here, and was there anything to find in there? I can't remember. But like, I wonder if the downside to burning the town is that you can no longer go in the houses and find items that you can use in there, kind of thing. Could be. We may have missed out on some items. Alright, back in we go then. Bom, bom. Hello, Anna. Yes, sir. We must be prepared for any who would march against us, but our forces are lacking in both number and supplies. House Telior's motives matter not. We could use those we could use even those against them should the need arise. It would be best for us to refuse. Lord Serenoa, I believe we must use every tool available to us if we are to survive. 
do do do. Uh, that's not a convincing argument. We're weak right now. Uh. Do do do. We leave ourselves vulnerable by venturing outside. Quite true. If we were met by the Esfosti forces outside the castle, we could neither drive them back nor retreat. In that case... Even so, I do not think we could stay holed up in Castle Wolffort forever. Alright, Bendy Serenella. Dick. Everyone has their suspicions over Lord Silvio's offer, but I think we can guess his true intentions easily enough. Whatever House Tellior's aim might be, I am certain we can use it to our advantage. It would be best for us to refuse. Is there something on your mind, my lord? If you have any doubts or concerns, pray let them be known. Uh, the duchy has placed a heavy bounty. Perhaps what Lord Silvio came for is not an alliance, but... To seize Prince Roland? Hmm. Interesting I will indeed. not deny the possibility. If we think of Esfrost's actions of late, it would not surprise me if they had already brought House Tellior to heal in secret. However, we cannot ignore the fact that the strength of our forces pales in comparison to that of Esfrost's. So? Are you not concerned about the size of our own army, Lord Serenoa? Uh, even if I were, I doubt House Tellior could be of much help there. The size of one's force is an important factor in war, my lord. And it is true that House Tellior does not have many soldiers at its disposal. But neither do we. As such, we shouldn't be so hasty in turning away any numbers we can get. Hmm. You have truly grown into a most reliable leader, Lord Serenara. Alright, then fucking vote my way, dickhead. I swear to god, if you tell me I've grown into a reliable leader and then you vote against me, I'm gonna fucking have your head. Gonna choppity chop that shit right off. It is time to cast our votes. Do we accept House Tellior's proposal or go our own way? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I believe in you. Sweet. Well, there we go. <laughs> That's already done then. I believe you are right, my friend. Perfect. Benedict? You make a convincing argument, my lord. Okay, sick. I cast my token in with yours, my lord. You have my vote. Oh! Oh! We got the triple change! Oh! We love to see it. I put my faith in your plan, Lord Serenoa. I knew I loved you, Anna. That just leaves you. Did I change your mind too? Forgive me, lad. You stupid motherfucker. I knew you didn't have two brain cells to rub together. Sorry, lad. Just can't find it in me to agree this time. Well, it's a good thing you've been outvoted to fuck. You lonely voter. You lonely voter. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Oh gee, I wonder what it'll say. I it, could it be like everyone against him? Shocker. The way forward is decided. We deny House Tellior's proposal and weather this fight alone. Bing. And we also don't let him leave. We also do not let him go back to House Tellior. The traitorous little fuck. We in fact execute him on the spot. Are you mad? You would For stand crimes of dickheadery. Kingdom is in grave danger. This is the path we have chosen. Cope and see. I hope you understand. And mauled. I do not. You must reconsider, or else House Tellior too will face Esfrost's wrath. And why would that be our concern? <laughs> We are in no condition to fight, Lord Silvio. It is as simple as that. 
then I pray something more than death awaits us both. So long, farewell, Alfida Zena Jura. The Weather Vane. Why is it called the Weather Vane? That was a fucking. What's that? Why would it be called a Weather Vane? Like, because he came here to test and see which way the winds are blowing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Ding! Go and fucking sit and spin on a Weather Vane, mate. Lord Bye -bye. Silvio of Telior offers the solitary House Wolfort an ally and a place of protection for Roland. But Serenoa chooses to walk his own path, even if he must do so alone. Silvio leaves with a disquieting look in his eyes. Chapter 8, Part 2, Parting Ways. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Did we do the right thing? Did we do the right thing? Do 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 do. Uh, what the fuck? No, 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 spare me! I beg you. That's enough, Rufus. You call these men soldiers, Silvio? They haven't got any spine. Who the fuck's Rufus? Do we know Save a Rufus? Save your anger for House Warfort. We will strike at their castle soon enough. Oh! Ha! Sounds like they saw straight through your stupid plan. Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We did it! We called it! We did it! We called it! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my god! Yes! Fucking eat my entire dick, you bitch! Uh, what could a lowly bounty hunter know of a lord's struggles? Without Roland, my house is doomed. Doom. They call you heroes, baby, right? That is all you need do. And do it I shall. The only one you need alive is the prince, right? Oh, yes! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, thank God. That was a fucking good decision. Fuck yes. Oh, man. With the Crown City captured, Gustadolf proceeds with his plan. Get fucked. Doodly doo. I beg you, sir, give me one more chance. I shall not fail again. We are already taking measures against House Wolfort. A suitable pawn has showed itself before us. Though, perhaps, I should be more wary of my own family than any other. Huh? Fox is all that remains of the three high houses. I trust you know what to do, Avlora. Lord Landroy Fox is famed for his bow arm. He had the pluck to fire at your master during the war. Do you think you can best him? Without a doubt. Have you seen my ultimate attack? I can best fucking anybody. I have 500 fucking hit points. Insane. Insane in the membrane amount of health. Alright, what's going on over here? The bandits Travis and Trish discuss rumours of a hefty bounty on a certain someone's head. Oh, good. Fucking bandits are going to come and fuck our day up. Oh, these two, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what to expect now that S. Frost's taken over Glenbrook. I heard they put a huge bounty on the prince's head. We can make a killing if we catch him. I know her voice. Who is her voice actress? I know it. I always dreamed of kidnapping royalty. <laughs> but the prince of a crumbling kingdom? Mm. They'd probably kill him if we turn him over. The reward is tempting, though. The reward is tempting, though. Oh, 
I definitely recognize that voice. What do I know it from? Oh, I'm so glad we chose not to go with him or we would be getting our asses reamed right now. Tensions grow as Anna brings news to Serenoa, shedding new light on their situation. Let me guess, we're going to Hyzant. <laughs> it must be. We cannot hold out here. It must be that we're going to Hyzant, surely. The Talior army has entered our domain. Oh. Yes. The that Vanguard is nearing Castle Woolfort as we speak. It will not be long until the rest arrive. Good thing the Talior army is shit. I knew his intentions were not as pure as he made them seem. But to think he would attack so soon after proposing an alliance. According to our spies, Lord Silvio has been in contact with Esfrost. There is a reason he is known as an opportunist. This was all a plan to destroy us. So he wished to secure Prince Roland to use as leverage with Esfrost. I was also told that House Tellior has hired a man named Rufus as a bodyguard. What do you know about this man? His He's name's a Rufus. He's known as Hero's Bane, whose only loyalty is to coin. That said, he's claimed the lives of countless famed warriors. It would be wise not to underestimate him. To think Lord Sylvia would hire such a man. It means he's serious. We must plan accordingly. Understood. Gather the others. We have much to discuss. Failing to plan is planning to fail. We have much to discuss. The dumb. Dum 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 dum. Any more side quests? No, it doesn't seem like it. Knowing of Silvio's betrayal, Serenoa summons the War Council for an urgent meeting. Ba bum, ratata tum tum tum, ratata tum tum tum. So Silvio has betrayed us. I suppose he has come here for me. You are correct. He most likely wishes to use you to curry favor with Esfrost. He wishes to use you in a curry? That bastard! How dare he! I think he would throw his own countrymen underfoot. We haven't time to get emotional, Eridor. They are on their way here. I beg to Bet you're feeling fucking no dumb now, time. huh, Eridor? Mr. Oh, let's just rage. vote against my lord! As am I. We'll teach those traitorous bastards a lesson. Yet more bloodshed for my sake. Prince Roland, we have no choice but to act. And the enemy is our former compatriots. They may well know about the traps below. Oh, well, there's only we one may left. Have to face them head on at the gates. We need all the help we can get. Please fight with us. This is no time to waver. We must stand together if we wish to survive. Where does he keep his armies? In his sleeves. So it has come to this. We must be prepared now that House Telior marches against us. Dum da ba dum dum da ba dum. The town lies past this gate. These gates. I won't let a single one of those traitorous bastards through. Lad. Esfrost captured the capital and dealt a heavy blow to our forces. I can only surmise House Telior now cowers in fear of the Duchy's strength. Uh. Maybe they'll retreat if they find themselves fighting a losing battle. I concur. Lord Silvio is a desperate man, but one who values his own life above all else. He would no doubt retreat were the tides of battle no longer in his favor, assuming he were on the field, that is. If he isn't, the battle would hinge on his hired sword, Rufus. And there is no telling what that man is capable of, making him far more of a nu nuisance than Lord Silvio himself. Alright, take down Rufus and we win, I guess, is the idea. 
It is only a matter of time before Telior's, ar Telior's army arrives at our doorstep. Pray, be wary of that mercenary Rufus. The townspeople have been evacuated to the castle. We cannot let House Telior make it past the walls. Yeah, no shit. Thanks for stating the obvious. I thought we could rest for a bit once we chased off those Esfrosty dogs, but I was wrong. Yes, you were. Invigorating spice. Nice. Shove that up your ass before battle. Works a treat. Did I check, like, these doors and shit? Check all the walls. Everything is progressing apace, my lord. The barriers will be ready by the time the enemy arrives. But the townspeople grow weary. We must stop Lord Silvio at the gates, no matter the cost. Ranged Ice Stone. Is that something else? Oh, big money, big money, big money! Balling, balling, balling! Balling, balling! I heard Lord Silvio's hired a bodyguard who calls himself Heroes Babe. I admit, I'm a little envious of his name. <laughs> I know it's safer for us to stay in the castle, but sometimes it gets hard to breathe in there with all the other townsfolk. Ah, oh, please, cry me a river, man. Just trying to save your life, that's all. As if it weren't bad enough, they're throwing in their lot. Oh, God. Oh, that voice suddenly really hurt my throat. Let's just do a normal voice. As if it weren't bad enough, they're throwing in their lot with the cutthroats who slayed our king. Now they're after his son. That spineless coward will regret ever marching against us. Neither him nor that mercenary will get any mercy from me. No mercy for the mercenary. Letter from Kin. My Wolfort cousin, some time has passed since last I was able to write. How fare you? We are as hale as ever, and indeed happier, for our eldest daughter is to be wed. The little girl you always doted on has grown into a fine woman. The ceremony will be held on of at our home in Telior. I know the trek is long, but we cannot imagine celebrating without you there, and our daughter so wishes to see you again. If that is not enough to tempt you, perhaps you might begin packing when you hear we've pour procured several barrels of the finest wine for the occasion. Distant though we may be, we are still family. You are my brother, if not in blood, then in my heart. With love to everyone in, in Wolfort, your tell your cousin. Is that a way of them telling them, like, get the fuck out of there? Is that, are they trying to save their lives with that? Or is that actually, like, should I, I'm try, I guess, should I take this at face value? They really are inviting them over? I guess it's the, the date probably isn't, like, imminent, so they probably, it's probably legit. It's probably legit. 500 smackaroonies. Our kingdom has been brought to civil war, and for what? Well, for, for whatever the fuck they found in the mine, I reckon. Oh, three iron! Huge plays, enormous plays, massive dick plays. Fucking fatty boom boom plays. I cannot forgive Lord Silvio for turning us against our own countrymen. As a fellow servant to the crown, I must show him the error of his ways. Telior is a high house just like Wolf Fort, but now we have to turn our blades against him. Yes. The town took the brunt of the damage in the last battle. It would stand to reason that we now make our stand here, at the castle walls. I mean, we'll have the height advantage, so that's good. The people were forced to leave their homes behind, and now naught but ash remains. Seeing that reminded me that war affects everyone, not just soldiers. I wonder what the early state thinks of our situation? We went to their aid during the Salt Iron War and stopped the fighting before it could claim any more lives. I almost wish they would extend a helping hand to us now, and yet... Uh, need all the help we can get. Uh, Lions has been shattered. We share a common enemy. Yeah. 
Those high Antians owe us their lives, and yet they're sizing us up while we struggle to survive. Nations operate on more than just emotions and unpaid debts, I'm afraid. I suppose so. But maybe that means Hyzant will come to our aid if we prove ourselves formidable. Lord Serenoa, this is our chance to show the realm what happens when they make an enemy of our house. Precisely, and I would have no other than Wolfort's soldiers by my side while we do. Thank you, Lord Serenoa. It is an honour to fight by your side until the end. Alright, chum. Is that everything? I think that is everything. Yes, okay. Now we wait for them to make their move. Rum tiddly um tum, rum tiddly um tum. It turned red. No! Do, 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 do. Recommended level 12, eh? Uh, oh, hey, we've got a bunch of new people as well. Um, hang on, I wanted to do that. What are we? We have... Oh my god, we actually have six level 12s? That's insanity! No way! We have six people who are actually at the level that the fucking thing demands? Incredible! Insanity! Insane! In the membrane! Never before seen! And these pricks are both close to it. It's just fucking Frederica that's behind. And obviously everyone else, but fuck them. Because they don't come in at the right level, so, you know, what can you do? Mad. Mad ting. Right. Um, 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 um. Was there anything? No, there wasn't anything over here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's get these characters then. And a frosty merchant attempts to charm the locals into buying his wares. Do 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 do. How fortunate this humble merchant is to look Oh, I like that voice. Beauty. How fortunate Nothing this humble merchant is. Greater honor than to see his powders and perfumes adorn your divine visages. Adorn your Such divine honor, visages. In fact, that he's willing to part with him for practically nothing at all. Practically we nothing at all. We haven't even coined for salt, let alone vanity. Mines are not but your ledgers. You peddlers disgust me. <laughs> Zoinks! Well met, brave protectors of the well realm. Well met, Lionel brave has protectors of the realm. Hero needs and more. And more. Every item has undergone meticulous testing to ensure that they will serve you well on the battlefield. Serve you well on Out the of our battlefield. Way, longer. We've important duties. I like to his voice. To. I like his voice. Do you do do Where are the smiles and open coin purses the people used to greet Lionel with? Oh, perhaps Lionel should take his goods elsewhere. War has made this place disagreeable. However, dot, dot, dot. It is the perfect opportunity for the shrewd trader to amass his fortune. And Lionel is shrewd, if nothing else. And Lionel is shrewd, if nothing else. My lord. That merchant who peddles his wares in our encampment has requested an audience. Uh, yes. Let him come forth. You do Lionel a great honor, my lord. A great honor. That he can count House Walfort among his loyal patrons has ever been a source of pride. Yes, right. What brings you before me today? <laughs> yes, right. Shut As the fuck up. As my lord is doubtless already aware, war places a heavy burden on the treasury. A burden that only grows heavier as time drags on. However, a skilled negotiator can see his coffers even fuller at war's end than they were at its beginning. If he may be so bold, 
Lionel would offer his services in that very capacity. Uh. He understands your precarious position, trapped between two ravenous wolves. In such times, one can never have enough corn and resources to stave off what may come. Surely you agree? Your words have merit, and you have always been honest in your dealings with my house. I see no reason not to welcome you into our ranks. Splendid! You are as Splendid. wise as they say. <laughs> Wiser, even. Ionel shall not disappoint. Just the opposite, in fact. From this day until his very last, he shall stake his honor on the prosperity of your house. And if his own coin purse should grow fat in the process, who could blame him? Lionel joins your forces. What does he do? Uh, trifles with foes using his elite eloquence can infuriate foes or tempt them into defecting. Collects an extra bit of coin along with spoils. Hmm. Can't wait to never use him. Boop, 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 boop. And a shamanette happens upon the village and uses her power over the weather to bring succor to those suffering from drought. She looks very cute. She can bring succor to me. The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer... No, I'm not a harsh mistress. What are you on about? ...from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Aye. And it ain't just the crops what are worse for wear. What a worse for wear. I'd cry over our lot, but... Not but dust would pour from my eyes. Pour from my eyes. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bull. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see him, Lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. I'm not. Well, slap my ass like I was just born. Oh, what a great I line! Never witnessed a miracle like this. <laughs> well, slap my ass like I was just born. That is fantastic. Hey, Zana, I'm fucking using that. On behalf of my people. On behalf of my people, my slap my ass gratitude. like I was just born. <laughs> there is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. Slap my if ass and give me sucker. Do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? Sure do, baby. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless, we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Azana joined your forces. I bet she has weather manipulation powers. I bet. I bet. 
Oh my god, she does! A shamaness with the weather at her whim, excels at wind and lightning magic, summons rainstorms and tempests to turn the tide of battle. Cool. Cool, cool. I say that is pretty cool. Dum, da -dum. dum 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 Word of Silvio's betrayal reaches Landroy's ears. He's gonna scream, that motherfucker! I will go and kill him myself! My lord, House Telior's betrayal has been confirmed. It appears Lord Silvio plans to launch a surprise attack on House Wolford. This is absolute madness. To think I would see the day three high houses fight each other. The glorious Glenbrook of the past is no longer. The dark days of war are upon us once more. Come on out, mate. Come on. My lord, the Esfrosty army has entered our domain. Ah, oh, shit. They demand our surrender. Tell them to suck a fat one. Ready your bows. It is time they witness the true valor of the High Houses. The true valor of the High Houses. The true valor. Nice. I hope you survive, man. I really do. I really do. Alright, that is everything. Next up, we have another cheeky battle against Mr. Fucking Gimp himself. Let's hope it goes pretty well. Let's hope. Let's pray that it goes pretty well. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Triangle Strategy. Thanks for watching. See you then.